Now, from across the Tri-States, this is KHQA Sports. And tip top of the evening, everybody, and welcome to Sports Final, my fellow Americans, where the state of our Tri-State Sports Union is indivisibly strong. I prove it now with highlights from everywhere, starting with wrestling tonight, Corp Gymnasium, senior night for Tyler Janes, and no one else for the Pirates. However, celebration started early in this one. Gavin Scott recovers from early trouble down 6-2 to two at one point to pin Travis Tran there of Moberly, and fun would pick up from there. 113, AJ Austin Janes makes quick work here of Ian Stewart. 120, how about this, the world's fastest ankle pick. Are you kidding me, Chandler Foey? So fast our camera can't catch him. Making quick work of his man, Andre Storm right here, registering the quick pinfall victory. The Pirates win their first three matches via the pinfall. Things would slow down due to some forfeits, but there's your senior, 132 pounds, Tyler Janes, working it for a 17 to one tech fall victory there. The Pirates would pick up some steam later in the match as well. Colby Collings, just absolute work tonight, brutalizing Latimer Slater in route to a major decision of 12 to 1. One more Pirate victory to show you, maybe the best of the night. Kyle Muring is a man beast at 220 pounds. That's why he's ranked number one in the state. Just toying with his man tonight in route to victory. Unfortunately, all those forfeits at different weight classes for Hannibal came back to haunt them against the Spartans tonight as Hannibal ends up losing by the final count in this one of 44 to 33. Now let's go on to some basketball and our man, Will Wilson. Oh, one more wrestling score quickly. Keokuk loses to Washington 38-31. The big story of the night is Dakota Shaw, who upsets the number fourth ranked man in the state, Mr. Scooble, 10-8 in overtime. And now here's Will. Well, Andy Douglas and his Liberty squad have a big home stretch here during the next few games and are looking to get on a roll heading into the postseason. It started tonight against Rowdy. Eagles would push the tempo early on in this one. It would start with this man, the shooter, Austin Mast, drains it from the outside. Michael blew it then, going to find Mast in the post, gets clocked in the head, bucket and the foul. He finished with 18 points. Route trying to keep it close here. Hayden Moore, fadeaway Jay right there. Nice stuff from him, but Michael blew it. He'd get it in the interior. He'd finish with 30 points tonight. Another 30 point game for him, and Mast shoot it. Why not? Liberty cruises 67 to 35. Over to Illini West in Unity. Crazy finish in this ball game. Down three late in the fourth quarter. Braden Bennett is going to find his buddy Braden Carroll. He's going to tie it up at 52. Back down the court. Will Klusmeyer misses, but Lane Davis puts it back. Puts them up by two. Illini West would tie it. Klusmeyer under a minute to go. Hits two free throws. Puts them up two. But here come the Chargers. Braden Bennett, 1.2 seconds left. Lays that in. But in overtime, we'd go. Alex Blicken and the boys going to be too much for the Chargers, and Unity is going to win it 68 to 63. Over in Pittsfield, where Central was in town in this one, Wade Smith going to be doing work for the Sockies early. Drive, beautiful work from him. Bucket there, he finished with 21 points. Smith then in transition, distributes the ball. Pittsfield's going to go on and win 40 to 36. Over to Chris with some scores. On the scoreboard, double overtime tonight. West Central, a winner over Grigsville Perry, 76 to 68. Also Calhoun, way too much for Brown County, winning 65 39. We've got at the Beardstown tournament. First of all, we've got Southeastern beating Havana 43-37. Now with the Beardstown tournament, it would be Beardstown, the host team, blowing out Greenview. Also tonight, Carrollton, too much for Triopia. Palmyra and Highland tonight going at it yet again. The Panthers in bounce back mode after that tough loss to Canton. Jordan Nutt finds a cutting Trevor Many right here for two of his 23 points on the night. That would help put Trevor Many over 1,000 for his career. He's a junior, mind you. The kid's all fired up. Highland, though, coming back in this game. Early on, taking the lead behind the big fella, Austin Richmiller, beasting in the low blocks. Then Lane Sly going to get this ball and go floor length in this one. Eventually, though, Palmyra gets its long range game a going in this one. Just pretty stuff on the wing. Josh Holtz going to knock down the triple here. And Brock Butler also with a triple as well as Palmyra gets the thing done tonight. Second half, all Panthers as they win 80 to 49. Elsewhere tonight, big one over in Shelbyville. North Shelby, Knox County going at it. Tell you what, Knox County came out a fire in this game trying to get the victory at home. Ryan Strange rattling home the jumper here. North Shelby, though, had answers, including Jacob Rich, who was really good. Spinorama du jour tonight. Beautiful stuff from him. Lovely stuff there. The other end, Donnie Edwards. Donnie basketball. Donovan Edwards finishing on the fast break. Too much North Shelby tonight. 
The Raiders closing out. Dylan Metis turnaround feed on the three-point play. Bucket and Band-Aid get it done tonight. North Shelby with a quality win over the Eagles in the Eagles home floor. 63-59 to was your final there. On to the scores in Missouri. Hannibal stays red hot, beating Fulton 46-45 to on the night. It was Marion County going on the road, getting seven three-pointers out of Logan Kribbaum to beat Atlanta 75-44. to And Monroe City, no match for Clark County in Cahoka. Dylan Harper leading the way in that ball game with 20. Will. Louisiana, Louisiana, Wright City getting going in this one. Zach Richardson going to find him. He's going to spot up, bury that. Nice stroke on that young man. Then it'd be Elijah Oblinger. He'd get the ball, get the ball would get in his hands eventually right here. Almost the same spot where Richardson made it. He'd bury that one. Be Oblinger again. This man was on fire tonight. He finished with 16 points as Louisiana goes on to finish Silex 52 to 43. Ellsbury Van Fire top seed Ellsbury in 6-9 forward. Kenny Leslie. Leslie gonna make his presence felt early. Down low. Offensive rebound right here. Big guy putting it in. And if you got a guy that tall, you better give it to him in the paint. He's gonna be calling for it right here. Give it to him. Beautiful work from him off the glass. Ellsbury would clear out Van Fire tonight. 52 to 22. Clapton and Winfield. Reed Lake, he's going to get the kick out pass, put up the three right here. Nice stuff, man. Nothing but the bottom of the cup. Clop, Clopton going to be working in the paint, back down the court. Devon Linton inside. He'd get the basket and the foul. Unfortunately, they'd go on to lose this one. 54 to 47. Back over to Chris. Let's take a look at the scoreboard if we can on the night. The uh, number three seed Bowling Green on the final game of the night, the nine o'clock game, ends up beating Mark Twain. 66 to 43 was your final there. Elsewhere in Southeast Iowa tonight, Johnny Dahl on the road in Warsaw actually beats West Hancock 55 44, almost single handedly as Dahl had 32 points there. Central Lee tonight getting a big night from Lewis Gully and beating Maharshi 81 29 was your final in that ball game. How about a nice win tonight as well from Holy Trinity? Canner Kelch, everybody on the Holy Trinity roster tonight ends up scoring, getting into the column. Kelch leading the way though there with 13 points as he was pretty darn good in that ball game. And Fort Madison back to being state ranked and looking awfully good tonight in so doing. They beat Washington by the final count of 65-52. Miles went seen. Who else was 17 points in that ball game? Girl side of the fun tonight. Knox County just doing work tonight, improving their record to 13-3 and on the season, taking on North Shelby and looking really good, finding all kinds of offensive answers in this ball game as the Lady Eagles jumped on North Shelby early and often in this one, pulling off the victory. Final count this one in favor of the Lady Eagles, 56 to 37 would be how that would end up on the night. Let's do your girls scores tonight. We got plenty. We'll start you off with the Lady Rocket Invitational as Midwest Central beats Triopia. 54 to 32 was your final in that ball game. Elsewhere on the docket, Harmony, no match for Holy Trinity as Holy Trinity picks up a quality win as well on the girls side. We've got Central Lee also posting a victory tonight. West Hancock, though, too much for Keokuk on the girls' side, winning 46 to 41. There's that Central Lee victory, 48 37. On the girls' side in Missouri, Palmyra getting a win and a thousand points out of the lovely and talented Miss Katie Hinkle for her career. Also, Marion County, too much on the road for Atlanta, winning 56 to 33. The Macon girls, too much for Brookfield on this night. A couple of college scores to pass along as well on this evening, as we've got HLG winning on the men's side behind 15 points from Hannibal native Jay Jones. And on the women's side, a loss for HLG to Midcontinent, 70 to 64 was your final. New Illinois rankings are out. Payson Seymour back at number one on the boys' side. Illini West jumps in on the girls' side at number 10 this week as well. Congratulations to them. All your stuff, all your goodness on the web in a matter of moments. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow night for Student Athlete of the Week night at 6 o'clock.